Can ChatGPT analyze images within a PDF? Almost everyone online, whether they're a random person, you, you know, like here on uh, ChatGPT's uh, documentation forum or an AI expert out there, they'll say, no, it can't. Uh, ChatGPT, if you upload a PDF, it can only understand the text, right, from OCR, opti uh, optimal uh, character recognition. But that's not true. Uh, you actually just have to know how to get the most out of ChatGPT, and it can also understand embedded images within a PDF. All right, stick around. I'm going to show you how to do this live. But if you are brand new here, let me tell you what this is. My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily podcast, live stream, free daily newsletter, helping people learn and leverage generative AI to grow their companies and their careers. So AI, this is an AI in five. Try to do a very quick uh, tutorial that you can use immediately to help you get better results and win back time inside of ChatGPT. All right, so real quick, here's what we're going to be doing. Uh, this is a, a PDF that I use on my show every day. Uh, so you'll see here on page one, uh, this is just in Canva. I have some text here. And then on page two, this is a screenshot, okay? Um, so I have this PDF already saved. It's a 15-page PDF. All right, so I'm going to do this right away live and I'm going to let this go because I want you to see uh, how this works. So I'm going to open kind of multiple tabs and show you how you might do it and you might run into bad results. Also keep in mind, generative AI is generative, right? Uh, so it is kind of rolling the dice. So hopefully we get this uh, one shot, uh, but let's, let's go ahead and see. So I have this longer prompt. Uh, I'll keep this prompt in the, uh, in the description for this video. But keep in mind, this is kind of optimized to do just this specific task, right? Uh, this 15-page PDF that has a mixture of text and images. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and run it. All right, and there you go. And you'll see it's going to get to work. So we're going to let it work because it's going to take it's going to take a minute or two. All right, and then I'm going to go into a new uh, a new tab here, and we're going to put in a prompt. Maybe something you might do something simpler. Right. And uh, hopefully I can show you live and in real time, uh, you know, what a normal output from ChatGPT might be. Right. It's usually just going to be like, yo, I can't do that. So in this second window, uh, I'm saying something that you might put in. So please analyze this PDF and tell me the specific text contained on pages one and two of the file. Please take your time, go step by step and use all the tools available at your disposal. Uh, so right away, it says it contains placeholder text without any readable content on pages one and two. So right away, it kind of says like, ah, I, I can't do anything. So I'm just going to say, please try again. You can do it. <laughs> all right. Give some encouragement. All right, let's jump back over. Uh, again, I want this to go live so you can see this. All right, so it's actually still working. So it's using Python. So the, the, the big thing here is a lot of people overlook this step uh, because to accurately do this, which I don't, I've never seen anyone else on the internet say this is possible because people don't always know how to work it. All right, so right away, it's already uh, doing some page one OCR analysis. So it actually needs to use uh, both OCR, optical character recognition, uh, right, which is how you would generally go through and uh, quote unquote read PDFs, but it also needs to use computer vision, right? It's vision mode. And with the new GPT-4 O model, which is Omni, you have to do a little extra uh, prompting to make sure that it can simultaneously use both of those modes to both give you back text results and give you back images. Because think, like so many times you might be working uh, with a PDF and uh, the image might be just as important as the text. And you might think, oh, large language models, well, they can't handle it. All right, let's see if this is going to finish this or if it's going to keep going. We might have to give it one more, uh, tell it to try one more time. So, so it says the image on page one contains text promoting AI-related news. That's correct, right? So here is the, uh, the text right here, right? So it used OCR. Uh, let me zoom in. It used OCR to grab that text. Great job. All right, so now it's probably going to run into some problems on page two. All right, so here we go. It says the image on page two, so it's recognizing it is not text, uh, but it says contains, it already did it. So uh, it looks like it's doing it with a combination of OCR and computer vision, but there you go, y'all. It's already done. So uh, d like everything out there debunked because here you go. It says 
uh, we should probably update these numbers, right? It says join the 7,800 daily email newsletter subscribers. I'm glad I did this because yeah, it's actually like 15,000 now. Um, so you'll see right here, it grabbed all of that text. And like I told you all, this is not text right here, right? This is a screenshot from our website. There's no metadata, uh, nothing. So we wrap that one up quick, just debunked all the rumors out there that uh, chat GPT cannot read uh, text and images inside of a PDF. Yes, it absolutely can. You just really have to know what you're doing. So one thing I, I like to say here at Everyday AI is we're a little different uh, than, than, you know, uh, your, your average person talking about AI. So, I mean, we're lucky enough to be able to talk to the smartest people in the world, you know, at all the big companies and bring them on our show, but also, you know, I'm a former journalist. So I, I like to say that we're, uh, investigative practitioners of AI. So, uh, if we try something once or see something online, we try to either break it or reverse engineer it. So uh, I've known this for uh, a year. Uh, and when clients hire us, we teach them how to do this. So, you know, uh, I've been seeing a lot of people out there. There's, there's some confusion on this topic, but there you go. Yes. Chat GPT can both recognize in the same PDF images and text. All right. I hope this was helpful. If so, please go to youreverydayai.com. Sign up for that free daily newsletter and we'll see you back for another AI in five. This one was actually about five minutes. Fantastic. Thanks, y'all.